what is going on guys it is j pace here and today we're gonna have a little conversation about getting a wheel set up to use in monster jam steel titans 2. so there's a couple things that you need to know uh one you will most likely be editing a file on your computer uh that file is called uh user wheel input ini once you open up monster jam steel titans 2 and you have your wheel plugged in that file is automatically created on your C drive and it puts a bunch of default settings in there. Sometimes it works right off the bat. Sometimes you need to tweak it for it to work properly like I had to do. Um, when you're in the actual game here, you can go to settings, go to wheel settings. It gives you an idea of what buttons on your wheel will relate to gameplay actions. So you got your rear steers, you got your... Uh, your pause menus, your camera menus, your reset, your boost, uh, brake, gas, so on and so forth. So depending on what wheel you have, like this wheel here, I don't know what brand or model it is, but it has limited buttons. I have a Fnatic setup and mine has an additional, I'd say seven buttons on it compared to that one. So let me bring over this little window here so first and foremost you're going to want to go browse to your app data folder which you can do by doing percent sign app data percent sign and hit enter uh, once you're there you can go ahead and go to local and then you can drop down to your monster jam steel titans 2 directory in there you go to saved config and windows and then you will see your user wheel input.ini file that was created uh, by the game once you started up with the wheel so this is what the file looks like it just has very generic correlations of buttons and a number or a letter afterwards now you're probably wondering probably wondering how you get these numbers or how they relate to a button on your actual setup there is a website that you can go to it's called gamepadtester.com let me just bring that over here for you so you can see here, Fnatic Club Sport Wheelbase V2.5. That's what's currently set up for me. And you can see these B0, 1, 2, 3, 4. They're all set, they're all zeros right now. But as I hit buttons on my gamepad, you can see that they are changing. Uh, they're lighting up and basically showing that there's activity on that button. So you will use the a combination of this website and this file let me just put them on the screen here for you so for instance um like left shoulder right shoulder that's my rear steer which is my paddle shifter so when i hit it that's left you can see that b5 there is lighting up if i do the other side you can see b4 is lighting up so that's what it correlates to left shoulder right shoulder in terms of the wheel it's the the paddle shifters so you can see what number goes and then you put five and you put four like your A button, obviously the most common button in the game to access a menu to move to the next screen is B1. And then there's, here you go, Facebook bottom one, uh, face, uh, face button bottom one. So when you go back to this screen, sorry if this is a little choppy here, guys, but um, so you have A, B, Y, and X, right? The classic buttons on a controller. So you have the bottom, the right, the top, and the left. So when you're looking at the, here you have face button top, face button bottom, face button left, and face button right. So it's 4102. And I bring back the website for you. And you can see that as I cycle through these, so this is bottom, it's one. This is right, this is two. That's the top, which is four. I'm sorry, that, uh, that's the top, which is three. I have to change that. And then the uh, the left one is zero. So let me actually change this to three. I had a mistake in mine. And change this to 22. It doesn't matter. And save that. All right. So with the combination of this document, this, this user wheel input.ini, and this website, you can slowly go through every button on your wheel. You can assign it to something. And then you'll be able to use your wheel in the game. I mean, cause when, when I first started, I hooked up my wheel, I went in here and my, my brake was my gas, my gas pedal was my reverse, uh, the a button, 
did nothing. I couldn't even get into the game. Um, I had no rear steer. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, mine was a lot more configuration required than I think most. I think from what I heard, the people that have the Logitech uh, setups are pretty much plug and play. But I have a Fanatic setup, so it's a little more, I guess, in depth and needed more changes. But once you're in the game, again, the realism increases tenfold. That you could sit there, you got your gas, you got your brake, you got your rear steers on your paddle shifters. Um, if you ever see my live streams, I have a camera on my setup while I'm streaming so that you can see my wheel setup as I play. Um, but yeah, I mean, guys, check it out. If you got questions for me, throw them in the comments down below. I will have all the directories and the links of everything that I spoke about in this video so you guys can check it out. Um, also, if, if you're having a problem, if you still can't map your, your pedals with it, for instance, um, you can use, there are third party mapping softwares. I think Xpatter is one, um, joy to key is one, and there's other settings that you can use for, for those setups. So they have rear steer JL and there's, there's, these are the settings you put into some of these third party applications to try to get your gas and brake and other things working for you. So I will again put that in the description as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Again, the, the realism increases so much. It's so much more entertaining to sit here and you hit the gas pedal and you could drive with the game. Like I said, you got my rear steers here. You can see those back wheels are turning, right? You go to the menus. I use my little joystick I have on my wheel to go up and down between the, uh, the menus. I could hit my A button if I want to go into something. And I could just do it all right from my wheel. So, again, hopefully you guys liked it. Um, throw a like down below. Throw, throw some comments down below. I'll be more than happy to help you troubleshoot some issues if you have some problems. But if you got the wheel, get it going in this game. It is it is so much fun, especially with doing the freestyles and the races. But, all right, guys, have a good day. Uh, stay safe out there, and I'll check you on the next one.